What's up guys, welcome back to Life of Bliss. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get a smooth finish clearing cabinet doors. So I've been sick the past week, so try to look past this deep sexy voice I've got going on, but these cabinet doors will be going on either side of my fireplace down there with the built-ins that I made. Oh, about a year ago. Um, I never actually got around to making the cabinet doors and I wanted these to match what I had going on in the bar area. So I went ahead and reached out to the company that did all the cabinets for the bar, which is Builder Preferred Cabinetry here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, anyways, they made up an awesome set of doors here out of knotty Beechwood. Um, I went ahead and got them raw, so no stain or anything. It actually came just like that there. And this is just me testing it out but I did want it to match what I had going on down there on the built-in, so I went ahead and stained this myself with some gel stain, and now I'm gonna be showing you the process of how I put some poly on them. So the gel stain that I used was the Minwax gel stain in coffee. Um, everything was done downstairs in that color on these built-ins, so stuck with that. Uh, the Minwax water-based polyacrylic is what I'll be spraying on the cabinets. And I've already done the back sides of these and that stuff lays down really nice. It uh, doesn't do a lot of overspray, so you really don't have to worry about things anywhere a couple feet outside your spraying zone. And even the overspray dries really quickly and, and almost turns into a dust before it hits the ground. So it's not even sticky where you're walking or anything like that. Uh, you don't have to use any chemicals to clean your gun. It's just water and soap afterwards. So cleanup is super easy. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. The gun that I'll be using is the starting line setup from Devil Biss, and I've been super, super happy with this gun. Uh, it actually comes with two guns. I've only used one so far because I'm trying to keep one nice in case I ever do uh, auto body painting or anything like that. But you know, as far as spray guns go, it's pretty decent quality. Um, I've used nicer guns in the past when actually spraying auto, auto paint before. But um, for someone like me doing a lot of stuff in the garage and only using it a couple times a year, it's worked out great so far. So I'll leave a link in the description below for that. I think it was about 160 bucks or right around there on Amazon, but I've been super happy with the setup so far. Now to show you real quick how I have everything set up, uh, I've already painted or cleared the backside. So this is already done. It's been drying for over 24 hours and I've just got some styrofoam bowls down there just to keep it up off the table so I can be sure to get all of the, uh, the sides here nice and covered. And uh, pretty much just got everything set up like that. I'm gonna go around one by one and start clear coating them. Now I want to mention real quick, the tip size I'm using is the 1.5 millimeter. And the way I'm gonna come about painting these is all of these inside vertical edges here aren't gonna get painted real well whenever you're spraying from the top side because all of your spray is gonna be going downward. So I'm gonna come across to a quick swipe for each one of those inner vertical uh, lines there. Then we'll come out to the outside. We'll do a quick spray for all of our outside edges and then come over the top and spray the entire cabinet like this. So we'll go ahead and get the first coat done and see where we're at. So that's the first coat done there. As you can see, as I was doing all that, um, everything got a 50% overlap with each pass. Uh, laid a pretty wet coat on, nothing, nothing too crazy. You can see when it's still wet, there's a little bit of bubbles going on in there, or what looks like bubbles. But you start coming over here to the ones that are already drying, and that stuff pretty much clears up. You can come back with a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper 
in between coats here. I'm going to put two on them, I think. But I'll see how, um, <clears throat> how smooth it is between coats. I might not even come back with any sandpaper because it does lay down really smooth um, using the gun like that. So we'll see these once they dry, and then we'll do a second coat. So it's been a few hours, everything's completely dry, and that stuff laid down extremely smooth. I mean, there's no bubbles or bumps or anything on there at all. I'm not going to have to do any sanding on any of these, which is really nice. Saved me some time. Saved me some effort. So we'll go ahead, load the gun up, do a second coat, and then I'll show you the final product once it's done and on the cabinets. So here are all the doors about 20 hours after that second coat and as you can see this stuff laid down super super smooth. I really like the way that stuff laid down. Um, first time using that water based polyacrylic and very happy with it so far. So I'm going to go ahead and let these dry for another day and then I'll get them set up downstairs on the cabinet doors. And real quick, I think it should be said that this is not the ideal way to paint cabinet doors or anything for that matter if you're going to be doing all sides. Really you want to paint every surface at the same time, so these probably should have been hung up instead of laying down like this. Um, that being said, I really do not have any overspray on the undersides of these. They're still just as smooth as when I painted the back sides and then flipped them over. So. Um, that polyacrylic does dry very fast in the air. It probably just hit the table and stuck to that and there wasn't a whole lot of uh, residual that went on the underside of the cabinet. So just something to be said, but um, you know, this is the process that I used and it worked out pretty good for me. Now when mounting the cabinet doors to ensure all were the same height, I attached a board across the bottom edge to set the doors on while I marked the hole for the mounting screws. Then I could attach the doors and make any minor adjustments needed at the hinge. Here is a final look at all the doors installed on the cabinets. Yes, this video is coming out in May and there are Christmas decorations. I've actually been sitting on this footage for several months, so enjoy the mid-year festivities. Now it's a little hard to capture on camera, but the finish came out extremely smooth on these doors. I didn't have to sand out any debris or air bubbles using the Minwax water-based polycrylic and spray gun method. Well guys, that is how I sprayed and mounted my cabinet doors. Hopefully this video helped you out with some projects that you're doing at home. If so, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and be sure to check out some of the other videos in the basement build playlist. There are tons of other projects like this that I've done throughout the building of my basement. Thanks for checking out this video, and I will see you guys soon.